How do you charge all your controllers? How do I know you're saying you can get bigger batteries. You're still gonna have to charge bigger batteries. Good morning, good afternoon from Niche 24. How's everyone doing today? So I've got this unique situation being a game collector and there's quite a bit of people out there who collect games. Now I never seen anything about this here. Uh, these are just some of my controllers I'm using at the moment. The rest are in storage, in my gaming cabinet, in the boxes. So how do you charge all your controllers? How do you charge them? Tell me. Uh, basically, what I do is every two months, uh, my phone reminds me and I charge it. I have this old PC, which I will show you. It has uh, four USB ports at free at the moment. So what I do, I take the controllers, the PS4, PS5, so I take all those controllers and basically I charge them up. So uh, they take like about maybe an hour, two hours to charge. Uh, this has its own charger. This has its own charger. So you just take those and charge them up. Yeah, so these has the own chargers. This is for the Wii U. This is for the PSP. So, how do you guys charge all this here? Tell me. I know you got these chargers here. Okay, this, is, this is the aftermarket one, but it does a job. It fits and it works. Not to say no. Okay, that's one option. But, like, I've got PS3, PS4, PS5. So, now, sometimes I'll play the PS3 maybe for like a week. The PS4 may be off for like two months because I'll go to PS5. I'm not going to keep my controllers charged for two months. Trickle charging, going up to positive, discharging, going down. So that's like a waste of power. And uh, I've got another controller, and then <clears throat> I'm just testing the God of War now. Uh, so I'll play this, and then if this dies, the white one that came with the console, I'll take that. Then I've got the Final Fantasy, the, uh, what's this other one here, the Hogwarts, all that there is just kept away. I have videos on my channel about them. Black PS4s, got the camo ones, silver ones of these PS3s. So it takes like a whole day, it's charging like about 15 controllers. The move one take the longest, these move ones, eh, they take the longest. So, I've never seen this on YouTube. I've looked for it. How do you all manage this? Um, because I know collectors, you must have at least a minimum 10 controllers. This is not for the average person who has like maybe two or three controllers. This they can play, and then maybe got one console, maybe two. You know what I'm saying? At max. We're talking people that got like maybe about minimum eight consoles, one, 10 to 15 controllers, minimum. PSPs, PS Vitas, we use. Then you've got all these Game Boys, all that needs power charging. How do you all manage it? I like to hear your comments, guys, because for me it's just a waste having this here on charge for like one, two months sitting there. Uh, the thing is, as I said, I charge them on a regime every two months. Because sometimes I won't even play. I think the PS3 last I played was six months ago. I haven't been playing. I've been playing PS4 and PS5 at the moment. So these two controllers I use the most at the moment. Once I get a few months out of this, this will go up in a box and it will stay in the box. I know you're saying you can get bigger batteries. You're still going to have to charge bigger batteries. No doubt about that there. So... What do you guys do? I, I I don't know. I never found anything, but I found this way that works. So when the controller charges on the PC, I see a uh, the light will flash. When it goes off, I know it's charged. 
compared to uh, let's see you can see the light is on you know so this is charged so go back put on the next uh, controller and we continue that all is charged but it, it's a long process all day but it's not like I'm sitting and waiting there it's just that as soon as I see the light off move on to the next one so these ones are easy they shut down on their own and yeah so see this needs charging now it's got two bars and I've got a black one as well and I've got a PS Vita hey, yeah, yeah. It's too much of controllers now this it doesn't uh, it's not for the guys that got the battery controllers I know you get rechargeable for that but these are for what comes standard with rechargeable batteries anyway guys there's not much I can say I explain my ways my methods everything I don't know if someone got a better idea out there how to charge a whole lot of devices give me a comment give me a link or something anyway thanks for watching guys niche 24 out